We're joined by Alec Jones, an American shock jock. He's been campaigning for more openness at the Bilderberg Conference. David Aronovich, who's always oh, sniffy about conspiracy theories, he's a columnist for The Times. Alex Jones, you've been covering Bilderberg for a long time. What have you ever found out about it? What have I discovered about Bilderberg? The yeah. BBC was able to get the documents decades ago that they helped found the Euro, which was actually a Nazi German plan ah. to take over countries economically. Destroy the child. Corrupt them all. This is their plan, people. These are demons. And then you can protect your head from the sun so you don't get... Uh, See how fast sunny. I did that? Folks, I'm an expert. <laughs> Every day when I leave work, I do this. Let's do a wide shot, guys. People can see the full power. It's a plan! And I'm angry! I'm not a slave! I've broken the conditioning! It doesn't work on me! I'm primitive, I'm real, I know the enemy, and if we can have this spirit of normal humanity spread, it's over for the globalist! Break the conditioning now! Excuse me. She's a goddess! She's Wait. saving us! Oh, right here! Damn it! She needs to be in prison now! This church evil! No! 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 I can feel my leg, and my arm, even my fingers, the body I've lost. But it leaves me with a huge question for you, Alex. And it's really, you have uncovered the new world order, which is deadly. It's full of what you call people who are criminals. Well, this is what I'm coming to. It's full of criminals, etc., who seek to run the world and will kill anybody who gets in their way. And you are almost, or have been, a lone crusader powering against them. No, that's so, not, how come? How, am I alive? How, how are you it, still alive? Why am I alive? Well, no, which, is the yeah. listen, why listen, am listen, which is the explanation? One, they don't exist. Or two, you're part of the conspiracy. No. Well, give me a wide shot in there, because I've had enough of this. I've had enough. Let me explain something to the New World Order, okay? You're not getting our guns. 1776 started when you tried to get them, you bastards. And as Charlton Heston famously said, from my cold, dead hand, you sons of bitches, you got that? You're not getting our firearms. Do you understand? This far and no further with your damn dictatorship. I'm sick of it. Excuse me, let me plug back in so I can hear Jakari. The animated contest of liberty is waiting for you. But you've got to take it in your hands. You've got to have the will to accept the truth and buck the system and the group collective. Do that, and you'll earn your way to the next level. This is the info war. Again, most people get bated breath talking about sports. <laughs> Did you see Green Bay? Did you see that catch? Did you see that? I get excited just realizing that they admit that they know vaccines cause autism and they want it to happen. That gets me angry. Almost every photo of Warren Buffett, a master wicked operative, involved with his banks with money laundering, tra narcotics trafficking, that's in Bloomberg, AP Reuters. But in almost every photo, he goes, I'm just a little old man. And he goes, ice cream. Google Warren Buffett's name and click images, almost every image. And he goes, ice cream. Like scum, Nazi filth, trash, garbage, maggots. We are all ruled by little chicken neck Nelly. Those men raped that woman in India to death with an iron rod four feet long. You can't ban the iron rods. The guns, the iron rods, Pierce, didn't do it. The tyrants did it. Hitler took the guns. Stalin took the guns. Mao took the guns. Fidel okay. Castro took the guns. Many... Hugo Chavez took the guns. And I'm here to tell you. 1776 will commence again if you try to take our firearms. Doesn't matter how many lemmings you get out there on the street begging for them to have their guns taken. We will not relinquish them. Do you understand? I, I can't find it in the stack. Will you guys Google? Google. Go to the NSA interface. They get us to opt in. Opt into the NSA interface and just put in Google fluffy socks. And, and people can say, I mean, I'm not joking. And they're always like, but we have pinball machines and let people drink beer at lunch. And we have movies about the interns. We're liberal, liberal. Eh, 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 eh. There's nothing liberal about it. I mean, it's just like, what? 
What? Everyone's like, oh. Uh. It's, it's like you've gone on a Mars mission or you discovered the God gene or you, you saved humanity or you crossed the Bering Strait. Can, oh, my gosh, you're so accomplished. Wow. Wow. You sleep with a guy. Whoa. So shocking. We can't handle it. And that piece you just played, there's nothing in the water. Hydrofluorosilicic acid in major Harvard studies has been causing a sevenfold increase in bone What's cancer. What's that going to do with Boom. What is that joke? What is that? What is that? What is Hitler? What is Stalin? What is Mao? What is all this stuff? What is Venezuela? Taking the countries back, ending sovereignty, ending the borders, saying, you know, worldwide, CNN every day has articles, come to America, it's all free, ha <laughs> ha, the land of milk and honey, the golden valley, the heaven, heaven on earth, fantasy island, it's all free, ha <laughs> ha. Same thing in China. And you're living in a little mud hut, but you love it because your family's lived there for 10 generations and you're super happy and little kids got a little stick pole catching fish for dinner and they're all happy. And in March, in March, the troops and they just grab your kids, never see them again. They go this way. We'll take your women, <laughs> rape those every time. And then just grab the men and go, watch your skills. We're taking you a thousand miles to the south. You're going to work in a factory. You're going to work uh, in a commune farm. And there's just big fat communists just eating food. Everybody else starving to death. And they'll say, just take a few out and shoot them. That's the essence of the Red Terror. Teach them that their life is nothing. <laughs> there is a gun under the seat. It's my second amendment right. I know the state law. There's no drugs. There's nothing in here. And they start pushing. I go, go get a drug dog. I don't use the government's products. You know the government brings the drugs in. Now knock it off. And I've never really had a problem. One time I got a drug dog, dog like 20 years ago. <laughs> and the stupid fat dog was like alerting all the place and hopping around because it wanted a biscuit. And of course, no drugs were in the car. <laughs> Again, it's all about celebrating the fraud. It's not real gold, but it doesn't matter. I'll just say it is. Just like he's not a man of peace, but we'll just say he is. And so here it is, a new Nobel Prize uh, for Obama and the staff here. Uh, you know, we're all just going to uh, have have a piece of the cake. Hey, here's Obama. Yeah, Obama. They show a glacier sloughing off from the first Viking text written over a thousand years ago about the glaciers. It's how in the summers they collapse. It snows during the winter and it piles up. And then when it gets hot, the glaciers move and melt and slough off. It's always going on. But they play on people's ignorance. I mean, this is so sick. Another lecturing voice. Real slow, I'm your mother. But mommy talks about starving us later. It is a fundamental of a statist authoritarian system to disarm the people. As Mao Zedong said, the greatest mass murder in history. Political power goes out of the barrel of a gun. And when you see the belligerence and the arrogance of most of those city council members and the little fuddy-duddy with his hair all greased back and into himself with his trendy, you know, I'm not against beards. It's just that it's the guys that like, like have them and then they're always the same and they just think they're wonderful. And it's like they all have the holy grail and he's got his little manicured beard and everything. And, you know, you know he watches The Hangover every night and he's sitting there. Talking about how horrible it is with his Nelly eyes, uh, like a deer in the headlight, wanting to prey on people, wanting his slaves to be disarmed, while he has bodyguards, cops in that room that are armed. I'm here to warn people. You keep telling me to shut up. This isn't a game, okay? Our government in the U.S. is building FEMA camps. We have an NDAA where they disappear people now. You have this arrest for public safety, life in prison. You are the worst person it, I've ever interviewed. No, no, it's basically off with their heads, disappearing. David, thank take you for away. being with us. InfoWars.com. Half Liberty past 11. You're watching the Liberty Sunday Politics. Rising. We have an idiot freedom in the program will not today. Stop. You Coming will not up stop in just freedom. 20 minutes. You will not stop the republic. Humanity is awakening. InfoWars.com. No. You guys are crazy. I'll be looking Think at the week the ahead with our stupid. political panel. You're Until crazy. then, the Think Sunday the politics across the You're UK. Crazy. Think of the public isn't waking up. We